Hey everybody, wanted to share a quick Photoshop design technique with you. And this is really cool for creating sort of marketing collaterals, you know, things for your brochures, for your website, just marketing pieces in general. You can also use this when creating apparel graphics. This is really what I call an edge effect, a halftone edge effect. So to begin, this is a pretty simple technique. What we're gonna do is we're gonna select the rectangle marquee tool. And you can see that uh, from the left hand side, the toolbar where my mouse is hovering, you can also click M on your keyboard as your shortcut. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to left mouse click and I'm going to draw. Now I'm going to draw this marquee box and I'm going to really target sort of the inner portion of the design, the targeted design, because we're going to create an edge effect and you're going to see how this will, will output. So make, make sure to create sort of a border or a space between the edge of the graphic and uh, the interior element. So you can see that now I'm going to let go of the left mouse button and here we have this marquee. You can see the marching ants here. The next step in this process is to go to the select drop down menu and select inverse. So we're going to go and inverse that and you can see how it selects the outermost portion, the, the portion between the edge of the graphic and the interior portion of the marquee. So the next step in this process, you can see the very, very left hand side toolbar. I'm hovering my mouse now over the edit in quick mask mode. You can also hit Q on your keyboard. So if I hit Q, notice how it selects the inverse uh, portion of the design where I created the, the marquee or the mask. So what we're going to do at this stage is we are now going to go to the filter menu and we're going to go and select pixelate and we're going to select color halftone. And when we do this, we can dial in a radius size and that refers to the size of the actual halftone dot. And again, this is going to be an edge effect. So it's going to create a halftone pattern or sort of a border around our selected or our marqueed area. So here I'm just going to enter 20. I'm going to go ahead and select OK. And you can see now that halftone effect apply itself. So that's uh, the process. You can see it's pretty straightforward and simple. Now what we're going to do at this stage is we're going to, again, we're going to go back to the left hand side of the toolbar. We can see edit in standard mode. So I'm going to go back to that. Now what we want to do is we want to click the space button. So we're going to hit our space bar on our keyboard. And by doing that, that's going to go ahead and eliminate this uh, secondary area. So let's go and now grab that area that we've just basically cropped or marqueed out. And I can go ahead and delete that. So you can see now we have this uh, transparent area in the background. You can see how we created this really cool edge effect using this halftone sort of style. Now you can adjust the radius size. So if you want a really fine halftone dot uh, or effect, you can adjust the, uh, the radius size. We used 20, and if I used 5, it would be a s way smaller halftone effect. So we can always go back in time. Uh, if we want, we can go edit. We can go step backward, and of course, here's your shortcut. So we can go ahead and go back in time and we can produce a different size halftone dot by again going filter. We can go to the pixelate function and we can go to color halftone. And maybe we'll try a smaller dot, we'll do a seven. Let's see what that looks like. Select okay and you can now see that effect uh, live on the screen. So again, this is a really cool and quick technique to create an edge effect uh, to again build your marketing pieces for brochures and your website. Just a cool collateral to hand out. You could also potentially use this in some apparel style designs. So again, this is a quick uh, Photoshop tutorial. Hopefully this has been helpful and, and useful for you.